Hey all, this is Udit here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. It's called UX World. And in this video, I'm gonna tell you how to conduct stakeholder interview in user research process. So let's begin it. Involving stakeholders can help ensure that you have the support you need for your project and that everyone is working towards a common goal. They can provide you with information about the project and ensure that you don't do irrelevant work or waste time by doing duplicate study. Talking to stakeholders also gives an opportunity to engage them in your project. So as per the Thomas Sharon, he divides stakeholders in user research into three overall categories. First, business, second, engineering, and third is UX people. So I'll talk about the business. So business stakeholders, they are basically upper management, product manager, marketing people, and sales people. They can help you to ensure that your research is on track with the current business goal. Second, engineering stakeholders. For instance, developer, quality assurance people, and technical or customer support, they are the people. Engineering stakeholders can give you the information about technological limitation and the possibilities. So the final is UX people. In this categories of stakeholders are design manager, other designer and researcher working on the project. UX stakeholders will be able to provide you with more knowledge about your project and with different angles of the user experience. How do you involve stakeholders? The best way to involve stakeholders in your project is simply to talk with them face to face so you have a clear idea of their point of view and you will get most honest answer if you can conduct the interview round properly. So the question is how to conduct. First, create some open-ended question that will help you to understand about the particular project. Second, don't ask the obvious question which you know the answer already. Do your homework first and respect the time of your interviewee and your own. Third, do not suggest an answer during the interview time. You might know the answer, but it will be good practice if you only try to listen them. Fourth, question should be clear. If you want to get a clear answer, your question should be asked in the same way. Fifth, question should generate based on facts, anecdotes, opinion, attitude, feelings, perception, and values. Sixth, conduct the interview with two people where one will ask the question and another will write. Seventh, it is a good idea to record the audio of the interview if possible. Of course, you must always ask for permission before recording the audio. Eighth, make it realistic what question we need to ask so we can categorize in four type of question the first one is what the project is about the second one is the stakeholders role and the interest in the relation to the project third one is what has already been decided about the project and the fourth and final one is who are the user so now i'm gonna explain to you one by one the type of question the type one is what the project is about the more you know about the project or the product and what the organization hope to achieve from it the better you can ensure that the research is relevant like what is the product going to be what is the history of this project what is the reason we are doing this project or product type 2 the stakeholders role and interest in relation to the project if you understand a stakeholders background and motivation it's easier for you to identify where you will meet opposition to or support for your specific research and resulting design changes like what is your role in this project how long have you been involved in this project what did you do before this project type 3 what has already been decided about the project if you know the constraint of the project it's easier for you to decide and how ambitious you can be about research and resulting design changes. Like, what has been decided about the project or product so far? What requirements have been decided for the product? What tech discussion have been made and how firm they are? The type 4 and final, who are the user? By clarifying what people already know about the user and who they want the customers to be. 
you can ensure that your user research is focused. Like who are the customers or user? What user research have we already done and that might be relevant for this project? Who do we want the customers or user to be in 5 or 10 years? So I hope this information will help you for planning conducting stakeholder interview and below I'll share the free template link for all the questions so you guys can download and use it. Please feel free to ask me any question related to this topic in the comment section. And thank you guys for watching this. Take care and bye.